Frank's Fears Million. Welcome back to another episode of Frank's Fears Million. Man, Frank Say. Uh, we kind of moved it out here to a different location. Uh, we're actually outside, outside here on the deck. Um, just to kind of, you know, change the scene and rip a little bit. Um, we are, this is the day before the first official day of fall, so summer club coming to an end. Um, so what I wanted to do was, I wanted to make a video about um, transitional sense. Um, you know, now as we go from uh, summer into fall, uh, it's still early fall. So like, it's like it's deep in October. Like it's not um, Halloween or anything, or Thanksgiving or anything like that. Yes, yeah, so we're not really deep in the season. Like we, we just really are at the beginning. I mean, it's the uh, temperatures just starting to get a little bit chilly here. Um, you know, uh, upper 40s at night. Uh, I got up, got up to about 70 today. Um, I'm in the uh, I'm in the Baltimore area. Um, you know, uh, northeast Mid Atlantic area. So, um, you know, it's starting to get a little chilly, chilly right now. Um, so it gets warmer during the day. Like I said, it's like it was like 70 today, today but that's not really extreme 80s, 90s type summer heat. And there's no humidity at all. So, I think um, this would be a good time to drop some transitional sense I've been wearing here uh, for the last um, week or so. Um, you know, it's, it's really, it kind of suddenly just started getting cool like the last like two weeks. So what I want to do is talk about five transitional scents that we can take from um, the summer, in between summer and fall. So we're really, really getting to the fall scents like the, you know, the, the amber scents and, uh, you know, the tobacco, the heavy tobacco and stuff like that. So these scents are going to be, going to be more like moderate weight scents. I'm not going to go in any any type of particular order, so let me just jump right into it. Let's start off with this is uh, YSL Fresh. Um, it's basically a summertime version of uh, YSL Y. Um, you know this. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 good. It's good. Um, the performance isn't that, isn't that great on on this, but I've noticed uh, I wore this the other day. Actually, over the weekend, when it was a little, little uh, chilly outside in the morning, I wore it, and it, 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 I think it uh, projected a little better. I mean, it is marketed as a summertime scent. I actually got this for my birthday for my wife. Uh, my birthday's in July, so I just got this in July. And, uh, you know, I've used it a lot. Um, like I said, the performance wasn't really that great, but I think it's a nice, cool weather performer. I'm thinking um, probably, like, up to 80, 80 degrees. When I wore it in the summertime, it was kind of... I mean, I want to say it was cloying, but it just wasn't. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of herbs in here. It's very sweet. Um, you know, sweet scents really aren't conducive to uh, the summertime. So, uh, I think it's the perfect fall scent. Uh, like I said, the form is kind of moderate, uh, but it's just like a lighter uh, version of YSLY. And if you know YSLY, the EDP, the EDT, very herbally, very is, is sweet. It's like a more herbal uh, Invictus kind of vibe that you get with the Y, the Y series and YSL. So, uh, to start the, to start the um, countdown off, it's going to be YSL Y. Like I said, we're not going in any kind of particular order, but it's just five I'm, I'm going to talk to you about. Okay. Next, this was my actually my scent of the day. Uh, this is um, actually Issey Miyake Le Bleu de Se. Uh, this is Le Bleu de Se. Now, this is a fantastic scent. Um, very, very green, herbaceous. Um, and see, I would have, if this was summertime, at summertime I, I have the Ofresh version of this. Uh, it's YSL, not YSL, I'm sorry. Issey Miyake Le Bleu de Fresh, which is in an all glass bottle and it has uh, Le Bleu de Fresh written here. This bottle doesn't have any words on it. It's just Issey Miyake on the, on the top. This is my scent of the day. I'm gonna do a little refresher. Now see, these can also, as far as being transitional scents, these are also good, uh, good summer night scents. So it's about 6.30 right now. So, you know, you're about to eat, have dinner here in a little bit. So this be my scent of the evening too, because it's just, it's just that good. I mean, it's a great, great performer. I mean, I don't even have to really, I'm still getting remnants. So I put this on eight o'clock this morning. It's like I said, it's about 6.30 right now. So that's like a 10 hour, 10 hour performance. But I mean, just great, um, that papyrus. I love papyrus. Papyrus is like a, it's a papery note. It's like ancient, ancient papers like the ancient Egyptians. Uh, and ancient peoples use uh, as papers like um, comes from like like a, a reed reed like plant. So there's that papyrus in there. Um, nice nice herbally aromatic nuances. So 
Um, definitely, definitely a great scent for uh, the transitional season that we're in and for summer nights. So that is going to be Isimiyaki Libidase, no particular order. Okay, so let's talk about uh, next. Let's grab this one. This is called Narciso Rodriguez uh, Bleu Noir for him. Uh, not, not Narciso Rodriguez for him, Bleu, Bleu Noir. Okay, so this is the uh, Blue Noir version of uh, the uh, for him, but not so or Vegas, uh, except um, it's 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 some added, added citruses in here. It doesn't, it doesn't have a blue vibe, it's not like the original uh, it's not the EDP uh, for him, uh, but not so Rodriguez, and the um, that one has that um, wet cement type vibe to it um and you know i think that's from the heavy heavy doses of uh musk that's in there this was musky too there's also some citrus a lot of nice citrus in here um this definitely has a blue vibe um this is just a great bottle beautiful bottle uh this kind of reminds me a lot of tear to the ms the original tear to ms with with added musk I actually like this more than, than tear to ms uh when it comes to tear to ms line i like like the edp way more like like the edt so uh this one is is great it's just really good um worth picking up if you come across it and it's a great transitional scent um for the season summer night scent um it's a little heavy for daytime wear but uh, summer nights and transitional season that we're in now this is great so no particular order this is narcissa rodriguez for him the noir okay so let's talk about this one this is from the House of Burberry. Uh, this is Burberry Brit Intense. Um, this one's great, really nice. Um, the thing about this one, this is a projection bomb for about two hours. It, it, it behaves a lot like One Million Cologne. Uh, you know, think about One Million Cologne. One, one Million Cologne is a projection beast for like two hours and then it just dies down to a skin scent. Um, the same thing here, this one projects for, for like a beast for two hours and then it dies down to a skin scent. Uh, this is a very, it's, uh, it's sweet. Um, it's um, it's kind of it's kind of dry too. It's sweet. It's a sweet and dry scent. It's um, still still kind of natural smelling. Um, you know, there's a lot of good stuff going on in here. Um, perfect transitional scent um, for um, the season that we're in or summer nights. Just just a great all, great all around scent uh, and. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really. I've had this bottle for about two years. I don't really see it. I don't really see it uh, readily as much as I used to. So, um, you know, if you come across it, definitely worth getting it. This little 1.7. Like I said, I had it for two years. Uh, I probably used about a third of it. So, good stuff. Strong projector. In the beginning, it kind of dies down. Great for summer nights, transitional, transitional seasons. Burberry Brick Rhythm Intense. And the last, um, this is one of my favorites. Summer night. For, uh, favorites. This is from the House of Bulgari's Bulgari Man Black Cologne. Another one. Uh, it, it, it's in this kind of the same vein as the one we saw before, Burberry Brit, but it's it's just it's great. It projects like nobody's business. Uh, this is another kind of sweet. I don't know why I can't find the words right now, but it's kind of a sweet, uh, another sweet herbally scent. Not really herbally, but. A little powdery, um, sweet. Uh, I've talked about, about, about this before. Uh, Bugari Man Black Alone. Uh, you can check my other videos and get more in depth information on it. I, I haven't had a full review on it, um, you know, it's part of a countdown, but it's definitely, I revisited it, it's definitely a, a great summer night transitional scent of the season. Uh, Bugari Black Alone, sweet. Um, dry uh there's a little uh, tobacco tobacco there and in, in there black cologne i mean i just i just love it it's a, it's a lighter version of bulgari black um i have bulgari black uh orient that's my favorite uh bulgari made a black orient that's my favorite um and i have bulgari black uh cologne um from the black line um i, I think these are the best best from i think these are the best from the bulgari man in black series so uh bulgari man black alone definitely great transitional scent for the season that we're in great summer night scent this is my summer night go-to bulgari black <laughs> bulgari man in black cologne 
Uh, I remember I had a video on this last year on my birthday uh, when I was out of town with my wife, so check that one out. Smoking on a nice, uh, a nice cigar in that one too. Can't remember what, what, what it was I was smoking, it, but it was my birthday, so check that one out. Um, you know, right now I'm actually, uh, it's after work, I'm actually having a Guinness Blonde. Uh, it's actually brewed. Here in, here in Baltimore the, uh, at the Guinness plant that opened up a couple years ago. So this is great if you come across this. All right, great beer. All right, Freddie Prince Amelia, thank you so much. Um, so appreciate all the support, all the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, we'll, be having more, we'll be having more videos as time allows. Um, like I said, I got, got a lot of stuff in the pipe. Um, got the um, A You Like series. I'm going to be dropping some more of those coming up here soon. So until next time. Take care.